Right, it's Kenya back with a collection. Uh, what I'm doing today is, uh, and it's not an original idea, I've pinched it off someone else, I must admit, uh, is a mop up of all my other vinyl uh, and collections and stuff in an A to Z form. So these are ones I got two or three albums of, perhaps. Uh, so hopefully this will be of some interest to you. Uh, we're going to kick off from uh, in this first video from A to F. Um, so the first up is um, ACDC. This is Power Up. This is uh, the last album. This is a um, Amazon uh, exclusive. Uh, it's on. Um, let's go quick show. It's got a very uh, impressive cover uh, in the sleeve, uh, and it's on red red vinyl. So as I said, these are all a couple of albums of. Or uh, the next next uh, ACDC one I got is. Um, Iron Man 2 soundtrack, which is a double album um, with a, a spread of, of writing and pictures on the on the inside there. It's uh, basically very to see. I think it's one of the few places you can get um, Cold Hearted Man on vinyl. Uh, it's basically a best hit to shoot the thrill, rock and roll damnation. So it's a fair decent uh, hit sort of type soundtrack. Uh, still in the A's. This is the Alban Brothers at Fillmore East. One of the classic live albums. Classic cover as well, I feel, with the band on the front there with old gear cases in the back. This has got a double C. This is an original from, the, from when it was released. Um, of course, uh, lengthy uh, whipping post on side four. Fantastic album. Here's the back. That's the Alban Brothers at Fillmore East. Uh, we're still in the A's. This is Aerosmith. This is Rock Stonington, 2014. This is a triple album on a, a, a DVD. Try and open this up. It's quite a uh, good cover there. Yeah. As we go through, we've got pictures of the live event, Donington, 2014. It's a triple triptych, if you want. Triptych. Uh, as you can see, the, the video is on the disc there. In the, in the middle. So that's Aerosmith Rocks, Don and Dunn. One of the Aerosmith, uh, my favourite Aerosmith album, Toys in the Attic. Absolutely love the cover as well. Thought this is a teenager. This is a this is a reissue, a recent reissue. Um, so that's Aerosmith, Toys in the Attic. Uh, we're still in the A's, last of the A's, I think. Amon Dual 2. Uh, uh, for the old progressive heads. Uh, a German band of some note. This is a reissue, double album. Uh, I'm on the route to not pronouncing that right. Uh, Into the Bees now, first of my bees. Black Sabbath. This is an original we sold uh, Souls for Rock and Roll. Uh, basically a compilation album. Uh, you can see I got a bit of damage on the air. This is an original. Uh, Black Sabbath. All the hits on there, if, well, hits, best songs. Uh, we're still in the Bs. This is Birds, another one of my favorite bands. Um, this is a re-release. Uh, this is a record stay edition, 50th anniversary 4LP legacy edition of Sweetheart of the Rodeo. Uh, and we are vinyl. Uh, keep the hype stickers on, I just slip the side here as they do, as I've mentioned in other videos. So I'll just show you the back. There's the... Uh, track listings and a bit, bit of notes in there. Uh, Grand Parson, obviously a big influence on that. That's Sweet Out of the Rodeo. One of the rare birds album I've got is um, Younger Than Yesterday. This is a reissue again. Uh, here at the back. Uh, obviously a very influential band of birds. In the Bees and still in North America. One of my favorite albums of all time. These no introduction pet sounds. This is the anniversary uh, reissue. Um, Beach Boys. This is an original Beach Boys. This is uh, 10 years of harmony of uh, releases on their brother records. Uh, let's open it up. Yeah, there's a decent picture on the inside there of uh, at the time. Uh, it's a double album, as you can see, uh, of uh, 
surfs up, etc. Error songs all through on the brother records. Onto a box set now, still in the bees. This is Kate Bush. Uh, this is the remastered in vinyl series. So we'll just pop them out for you to have a look. So it's a fairly sturdy box. Um, no added sort of stuff with this, but we got Hounds of Love. Of course, a classic album, one of my favourite albums. Um, this kid on the back there. Um, Ninth Wave on side two. Uh, second album, three albums in this is The Red Shoes. With my favourite kick push track on this moment's pleasure. This is a gatefold. The lyrics and stuff in there. And the third and final one is uh, Essential World. Uh, so that's the, the box set. Remastered in Vital 2, I want to say. Yeah, Remastered in Vital 2, that is. Uh, the other, the other reissue, well, yeah, reissue on vinyl, Director's Cat, which songs from uh, Essential World and uh, the other album there. Re re reworked. Uh, kicks off the flow of the mountain, which is essential world re reworded. What about the girls on there? What makes pressed against slightly different versions? Revisited. Uh, we're into D's now. So this is uh, some of these, quite a few of these are quite original. This is Dire Straits Alchemy, another great double live album. Uh, but particularly, I think uh, Telegraph Road being of a superb version. One's Pond of Time in the West is a superb version as well. Quite good that artwork on the cover. Dire Straits Alchemy, original. Uh, another original album, Making Movies. Uh, pretty plain cover, I guess. Uh, there is track listing on the back, which has got Tunnel of Love on, uh, which is a, a fantastic track. Uh, Mark Knopfler at his peak, I guess. Although he's still very good. Uh, the original Communique. Another good album. Original album, but of the time, Dire Straits. With the classic Salt the Swings on it. And I, I re bought this because I lost the vinyl somewhere along the way. This is. Uh, Love Over Gold with Telegraph Road on it. Uh, epic song. This is in the Legacy. The Legacy? No. Back to Black released this. In studio albums when they released them all on um, Christine Vinyl. Like we're still in the D's. This is Derek Gonzalez, Layla and Other Assorted Love Songs. This is an anniversary reissue. Double album. It's got the classic Leela on there. Just open it up. Uh, collage pictures. There, and on the back. Uh, dominoes. There we go, the dominoes. There you go. There we the dominoes. Featuring Eric Clapton. We're into E's now. Uh, yellow kicking this off. Uh, these are reissues. Uh, I think I haven't got any of my original. I did have all these originally. So I really get. We've got them. This is El Dorado. Uh, with red shoes on the front. Great album, in my opinion. Um, picture disc. Not a big fan of picture discs. They don't play that well, as everyone probably knows. Or they can. Can be poor. Uh, this is out of the blue, but it is, a, I think, a superb um, double set pictures. Um, pictures in the back as well. Uh, classic double album. Uh, 40th anniversary picture disc plus digital download. That's, it's amazing how many people, how many uh, record companies don't put the digital. I think it should be a, it should be a requirement. Myself for what you pay for vinyl. That's so that's out of the blue. Uh, the album that preceded that, I believe, New World Record. As I said, these are all reissues. Uh, Stars on the back there. Tightrope, Rock Aria, Living Thing, Inquiry Tracks on there. And now, uh, of course, the embossed um, logo. Uh, last of the yellows. Uh, 
This is Legacy Vinyl, Adrian and Graham, limited edition. And I'm always wary of lip edition without numbers on. This one I was going to number. This is number 573. Uh, my favourite uh, yellow album. Face the music. Uh, waterfall, etc. Strange magic. Don't know town. Evil woman, of course. It was a major song for them. That's Face the Music. Uh, electric Chair. Uh, there's a little story, I believe, if I'm not. Um, Richard, yeah, uh, whose second name escapes me, is the only one looking away, apparently, because he wasn't keen on the electric chair idea. Don't know whether that's uh, completely true or not, but I read that somewhere. We're still in ease now. This is the Eagles. Uh, one of these nights, my favourite Eagles album. This is a, uh, a reissue, 180 gram vinyl, original album artwork. Um, yeah, there you go. So that's the Eagles. Uh, I like that cover. One of these nights, uh, three box sets now. So we're into F's. This is um, Fleetwood Mac, all three of them. Uh, so this is Rumors. I'm gonna pop this out now. This is one of those CD vinyl sets. Although, disappointingly, I don't think Rumors is actually. Uh, the, the vinyl is not 180 grams. It's a bit thin. Is there a argue about the th thickness and thinness of vinyl being of any use? Uh, you can see there the CDs are in paper, cardboard covers, five of them. Uh, uh, superb album, obviously, as everybody knows, we're in, in pop music. So that's, um, that's Rumours. Uh, this is Tusk. Uh, similar format. So we've got the box, sturdy box, a bit like the Kate Bush one. Uh, a, there is a, as well, I didn't show you the rumours one, there is a, well, what they call a booklet, uh, with some interesting uh, essays and uh, write-ups and stuff. And as I said, this task, um, the format's the same, double album, obviously, task is. Uh, and you've got the pouches with the, Cardboard CD holders there. Um, don't need to say anything about these albums. Everybody, everybody who was into people that's going to It's finally the little feet of Mac. So, um, well, quite expensive, of course. As are these super deluxe versions of what you're going to call on. This is the same. Got four, I think, on this one. Yeah, four CDs. Uh, and this is Fleetwood Mac with a stylistic cover. Booklet, which again, as I said, has got uh, articles, pictures, the spread um, of the classic 70s lineup, I suppose, of Fleetwood Mac. Got a few lineups. Uh, and that's uh, A to F for my roundup of things I am already showing you. Okay, I'll be back with um, another episode soon. Take care.